And finally, tonight at the Ed Show, with a week to go until the election, candidates are getting desperate and they're losing all sense of reason in a wave of last minute campaign commercials. Meg Whitman acknowledges voters don't like her. Jerry Brown makes it uh, seem like Whitman is endorsing him. And Pennsylvania Congressman Joe Sestak running for the Senate, uh, he scoops poop. I'm Joe Sestak, and this is Belle. My family loves Belle, but she can make a mess, and we have to clean it up. I think about Belle when I see Congressman Toomey's ads attacking me. It made me sick to bail out the banks. But I had to clean up the mess left behind by these guys. They let Wall Street run wild. Now Pat Toomey is attacking me for cleaning up his mess. I authorize this message because we deserve leaders who solve problems instead of playing politics. All right, Joe, I'm rooting for you, buddy, but you got to let the poodle go. No offense. Black Lab is, is where it's at. All right, for more of these commercials, let me bring in nationally syndicated radio talk show host Stephanie Miller. Stephanie, uh, you're a dog owner. You've been down that road. You ever think about putting something like that in a commercial? What do you think? You know what, uh, Ed, I'm with you. As you know, uh, I'm a dog lover. I have two real dogs, Great Pyrenees, that I rescued, <laughs> 100, about 125 pounds apiece. Listen, Ben Quayle didn't use his real kids in his ad. I say Joe needs to use my dogs or your dogs in his ad if he wants to get those steel workers on board in Pennsylvania. Uh, how do you think that ad's going to go over? Well, uh, you know what? I, I feel his pain because I pick up after my dogs every day. It's like following elephants at the circus. That is what it's like picking up after George Bush. <laughs> it, that's a great Dane size mess. It's not a poodle size mess. So I think he needs to bring in an Ed Schultz or a Stephanie Miller stunt dog. All right. D to your state of California, the gubernatorial race. Here's Meg Whitman. Here it is. I know many of you see this election as an unhappy choice between a longtime politician with no plan for the future and a billionaire with no government experience. Well, let me tell you my story. I'm running for governor to restore the California dream for everyone. I'm not a career politician or a Hollywood star. I'm from Silicon Valley where I created thousands of jobs at eBay. But if you want to get California moving again, I'm ready. Are you? Stephanie, how's this going over? She's behind in the polls by nine points. Your thoughts? <laughs> wow. I'm a billionaire, completely out of touch with you, and I have no experience. But listen, I've spent good money on this. Vote for me, damn you. <laughs> and here's Jerry Brown's commercial. Let's take a look at it. You know, 30 years ago, anything was possible in this state. As governor, he cut waste, got rid of the mansion and the limo. Budgets were balanced. 1.9 million new jobs created. California was working. I mean, this why I came to California so many years ago. Jerry Brown, the knowledge and know-how to get California working again. She needs a researcher. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's a good ad. <laughs> when anything was possible, that's right. <laughs> Is Jerry Brown going to win? Oh, you know, Ed, latest poll up 13 points. I think so. I have said from the beginning, I think this housekeeper story really crystallized things for people. People that are tough on immigration got that she lied, that she knew this was an undocumented immigrant. And people that are for comprehensive immigration reform see this for what it is. This is just heartless. This is someone that said someone was part of their family, didn't pay them fairly, didn't give them gas money, and then tossed them out on the street. And, and quickly, Steph, what about Barbara Boxer in California? What's your sense there as a, as a resident? I, I, Barbara Boxer is going to take it. I, I really believe she's up about eight. I know it's a tighter race, but uh, I, I just think there's no way someone that has outsourced that many jobs and, and is proud of it is going to be able to, to take California. Stephanie, good to have you with us tonight.